When I was a Muslim and I was reading the, 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 the Quran and the Bible, I was reading both of them at the same time in comparison. Yeah. You can see uh, uh, the love, the sacrifice in the Bible, the love, the mm-hmm. philosophy, the doctrine of Christ, of forgiveness, hope, mercy, the true difference between Islam and Christianity. Mm-hmm. In Islam, God sent his people to die for him. But in Christianity, God came to die for his own yeah, people. I agree with that. Even when you're reading with regard to human rights in the Quran, for example, yeah. like the way treating of women, the way that treating minorities, non-believers, uh, the way that they treated the, the Jewish and Christians, for example. When you're reading the Quran and you, you see that they are calling the Jews uh, monkeys and, and, and pigs, yeah. this is in the Quran. I know that the people would not understand, they would not maybe, no, come on now, that's not, it is. Yeah. Now, I would tell you why this is dangerous. It's not about just insulting the Jews. Forget about this part for a second. It's about dehumanizing them. Yeah. And when you demonize somebody, that's the first sign of committing genocide against them because it's easy to kill because they're not human. Yeah. They're pigs and, and monkeys. So when you read all of this, when you read about women rights, when you read that you have the right to beat a woman if she your wife, if, you, if she refused to, to sleep with you, when you have a right to marry four, and after the four you can have a slaves, all of this will sit down as a logically as a human being, and you sit down and say, there is something wrong here. I don't like that. This is not right. Because what is woman? Is my mom, yeah. is my sister, is my daughter, is my wife. So there is something wrong then. And when you go to Christ and his first miracle, what was his first miracle? The water and wine. And who forced him for this miracle? Yes, exactly. His mom. Yeah. His respect. And he told her, I didn't start my ministry yet. Yeah. But it was out of respect and love and honoring here. What you're saying, any man in their right mind, anyone who has a conscience, anyone who can read this text, they can observe for themselves. Uh, they can see that one thing is negative and one thing is positive. And the mind, especially when we are facing the persecution that's happening to the Christians around the world today, we have to be united. We have to understand how we can fight it, not in a revenge, in a loving way. We don't fight hate by hate, revenge by revenge, or evil by evil. We fight hate by love, revenge by forgiveness, and evil by the power of the living God. But do Western countries even have the toolkit? Do you see a model where uh, Western countries can live with Islam, or at least engage with it in a way that understands their values? My brother, uh, I need to tell you something. Please. Within our faith, we know that whoever will follow Christ will be facing persecution. Yeah. North America is not far away from this persecution. We are in the first wave. The world divided to two zones, a conflict zone and a comfort zone. And the comfort zone was North America, Europe, Australia, you know. And the conflict zone, where is the persecution? Where there is, there is 186,000 Christians killing, uh, being killed every, every year over 168,000 Christians being killed every year, between 200 to 300 million persecuted Christians in our world today. today yeah. We have to remember one very important fact. This is the first wave of persecution. North America will face persecution. Mm-hmm. And this Muslim movement that you are talking about and what we see today, especially after the war in Israel, this is, will be the first, the, the first igniting of real persecution. Yeah. The immigration that we are facing, the subject of the yeah. immigration that we are facing today, is have to be resolved. And there is one question that all the Arab countries and the Western countries have to answer. Why all of these Muslim immigrants not going to Saudi Arabia? Not going to Qatar? Not going to Bahrain? And these countries have more uh, uh, ability financially, better than Canada and United States. Yeah. We have to take care of our safety, our security in our country, and in order for us to be able to help more. But if we open the doors of immigration to anybody that, that will hurt our society, will change the DNA of our society, we will end in a big wave of persecution. Jesus Christ is the only way, truth, and life. The only way to the Father is through Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know God. Come to Christ today. Come to Jesus today. He can save. He can heal. He's there for you. Come to Jesus.